So, I just saw that movie on Netflix called The Strays. I didn't know what it was when I first saw it, but then when I started watching it, because I'm like, this is kind of weird. There's this very light-skinned woman that looks biracial, like she's trying to pass for white. But then I see her kids, and her kids, they look biracial too. But then she had a white husband, and then her son was like, she'll do anything to look white and deny anything that's black. So then it was like, okay, just this boring lady in this suburban town. This seems like some kind of mystery or something. But then there are these two black people that showed up that were like dark-skinned black people. And I'm like, who are these people? And then it was it was kind of like she was seeing stuff. And there was like nothing there. And it turns out she was seeing black people. And she was like freaking out, having visions and all this stuff. And everybody's thinking she's crazy. And then it's like basically these two black people who turn out to be her kids are stalking her and harassing her because she was with a black man and he was abusive. And she said she was going to the hair salon and took off and left the kids behind with her sister. And these kids grow up and they come seek her out and seek her because she's moved on and started a new family with a white man. And she seeks them out and try and just and she and they try and destroy her life and make her suffer. And then at one point they meet in a restaurant and then she pays them off like twenty thousand dollars to get them to go away and then they won't go away and then one night they're home and then they hear noise and then the water's running they're in their downstairs of their house and they're like flooding the house and they're in their robes and stuff and they're like oh it's her birthday and we need and let's get her food her favorite food so then uh, they're like no no and they're all like creeped out and stuff because it's like weird it's like it's like you're she basically told you she didn't want you nobody wants you and it's basically like go away move on get over it and they don't get over it they're bitter and angry so then all this is going on they're like order food and then they're waiting for the food and they decide to play a game and then the her oldest son the black son that was that appeared after like I don't know, 15, 20 years, they said. And he appears. And he gets, like, upset and then over the game and everything. And then he takes her husband and takes him into, like, their garage. And he's like, he needs to lift weights and stuff, making the weights, like, really heavy. And then he's angry with him and he's, like, holding a machete. And, like, everybody's scared because they think he's going to kill him. But they don't know what's going on. And then she goes to go check. And then she sees he's making him lift weights and all this stuff. So then she goes. She's like, where's my purse? Because the delivery guy comes. And she gets the food. And she's like, oh, I'm going to give him a tip. And so she goes. And she's like, oh, I got to go get my purse. Wait here. So she goes upstairs to get her purse. Because she'll ask her uh, younger son with her second husband. Um, where her purse is and he'll, he said upstairs. So she went upstairs to go get her purse and took her purse and went to the door. Cause by this time her husband's already dead and cause the weights fell on his neck and snapped his neck. So she goes to the door and the Uber eats guy or whatever he's at the door and she leaves with him and then all her kids the son comes out of the garage and he's like where's mom and she and then they look to go see where she is and then they hear the motorcycle of the uber eats guy leaving and then they realize she abandoned them all but it was like you could tell she wanted to keep the younger kids. She cared about them. And it was like the older kids. Because like, cause it just seemed like the younger kids with the white man 
like those were kids she wanted to have and she wanted to keep and she loved and had a good relationship and no bad trauma with them but it seemed like when she was with the black man she said he was abusive and all this stuff and she had to escape and her way out of dealing with abusive and scary situations she just takes off so in the end she took off because it's like a movie about race and basically basically the black guy did her dirty they never showed the black guy but he was like mean and did her dirty and abusive she took off and left the kids because the kids were her trauma because of him and all that stuff so she decided to leave them and then she moved on and I guess she was like really into hiding her blackness because throughout the movie she had a wig on and stuff yeah so that's my review of the strays I actually kind of liked the movie it was kind of like creepy but it made you like think yeah because it made you think, was she even in the relationship by choice with the man? Or was she just, like, scared into a relationship? Because some people are, like, scared into a relationship. But I would say it was a good movie. And it really made you think. If you like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye.